back to educator.com introduction to music theory today's lesson will be the major scale on 12 different keys every single key on the keyboard so let's begin by talking about our lesson objectives we'll basically be explaining the major scale and its construction as it relates to every note on the keyboard from C to B you remember from our previous course about whole steps and half steps forming a pattern from which we can play a major scale on every key. Well, this lesson, we will be directly dealing with that, and we will be playing a major scale on every key, starting with C major. So let's identify our scale on the keyboard, and let's use, let's remember our pattern. We have a whole step from C to D, whole step from D to E, half step from E to F, half or H, F to G is whole, G to A is whole, A to B is whole, B to C is half. Okay, so that is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Easy. Okay, let's begin with a middle C and we will copy what we have identified on the keyboard. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Let's listen and really look at the intervals. C to D is a whole step because there's this little black key in between the two of them. D to E, whole step. E to F, half. F to G, whole. G to A, whole. A to B, whole. B to C, half. As we get into the more difficult keys, it's okay to play the notes more than one time to make sure that you actually are indeed playing a whole step or a half step. Okay, C major, done. Moving on, our next scale will be C, flat, C sharp or D flat. So this is an example of one of our enharmonic keys. It can be called, you can think about it in one scale or in another scale and we'll talk about both. So, C sharp is this black key here. Okay, let's find it on the keyboard. So, we're starting on C sharp. We need whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. I'll cross them off as we get through them. Okay, so from C sharp to D sharp, this is a whole step. So, we've got our whole. <clears throat> okay, next whole step, D sharp to E sharp. Okay. That's the next whole step. Now we need a half step. E sharp to F sharp is a half step. Check. F sharp to G sharp is a whole step. G sharp to A sharp is a whole step. A sharp to B sharp is a whole step. And we need a half step for our last note. B sharp to C sharp. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay, let's write it out. Starting with our C sharp. Okay, C sharp to D sharp, we'll draw a sharp next to the D sharp. We're not going to do any key signatures for this lesson. We'll be really directly dealing with each note, so we're not going to worry about key signatures. We'll just write an accidental, either a sharp or a flat, next to the note that we want to make a sharp or a flat. C sharp, D sharp. Okay, E sharp is actually a white key, also known as F natural. G sharp. A sharp, B sharp, C sharp. Every note is sharped. So that's a lot to write and to think about. Let's take the same scale and let's think about it in D flat. So here's our note, D flat. Okay, let's draw out our pattern that we need. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay. So D flat to E flat, that is a whole step. So there's our first one. Let's draw it on our stuff. D flat to E flat. Okay, E flat to F, that's our next whole step. F doesn't need anything, it's just regular F. Now we need a half step, F to G flat. Here is our half step. So let's cross it off. G flat. Now we need a whole step. G flat to A flat. Whole. 
A flat to B flat, that's another whole step. Okay, almost done. Okay, we need one more whole step, B flat to C. And now we need one last half step, C to D flat. So, we have two ways of looking at the scale. We have every note sharped, and we have flat, flat, normal, flat, 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 normal. So, I think it, that this is a little easier to look at and think about. So, generally when I have a note, a, a scale starting on that note, I go with D flat major. Let's call up the keyboard and let's think about it both ways. Okay, so, C sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B sharp, C sharp. Okay, let's think about it as D flat. D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C, D flat. So D flat feels a little easier to think about and play than C sharp. Okay, let's move on and continue with D. Okay, here's our D. And I'm going to go ahead and label the notes that we need for D. <clears throat> okay, so let's use our pattern and we'll go from whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay. So this time, I'm going to play it while we write it out. Okay, let's start on our D. From D to E, there's our whole step. Okay, E to F sharp, whole step. F sharp to G, half step. G to A, whole step. A to B, whole step. B to C sharp, whole step. C sharp to D, half step. black keys, a little easier. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So there it is. That's what it sounds like. Let's continue writing it out. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. There it is. Okay, and you can write it going up and down for time's sake. We'll just write the ascending scale going up. Now.